do a lot of language arts and social studies integration because it is Virginia Studies. So what we try to do is select novels that will support the curriculum. Uh, so we are, you know, about, we just finished the Revolutionary War um, in Building a New Nation, which is what my class right now is reviewing for. Can anybody kind of refresh our memory about the setting of the story and some important events that have happened in the story? Um, it's, it's a hor historical fiction story, and so like, the kids were fake, but the Revolutionary War part of the story was all real, and like, um, it's, it's mainly about George Washington. Perfect. Hey, last one, Um, they were basically in 1776 or 1775, so like, they were back in the day, um, they were like, where people said weird words from sure. when now. Right, right. There was, a, there was a lots of things, like the sneakers weren't there, mm -hmm. and the band-aid, and, and a whole bunch of things. It's called George Washington's Socks. It's, um, I think it was written like in 1990, 1991, and uh, it's a historical fiction about a group of children who start this adventure club. And lo and behold, they end up finding this boat, and one of the girls gets into the boat and it's it's like a you know back to the future kind of thing and it's really focuses on one little boy who is a soldier well one of the most important uh, events in the story was when they crossed the Delaware River mm -hmm. remember when they were in that boat yeah. so that's what we're gonna explore today and we're I'm gonna start it with um, a passage that I found in this book this is uh, called when Washington crossed the Delaware and it's called A Wintertime Story for Young Patriots. What's a patriot? Uh, Sophia. Um, someone who goes against the British to like, be free for our country and they're not loyal to the king or anything. Uh, but I want you to listen to this passage. And as you're listening, I want you to imagine that you yourself are in that, uh, you're in that boat because you can feel how bitter cold it is and how uh, frosty it is and how treacherous it is. So uh, just listen. On Christmas night, 1776, General Washington led 2,400 men, the main body of his army, to a crossing point about nine miles upstream from Trenton. There the soldiers crowded into large black boats that would take them to the opposite shore. The night was cold and the men faced a difficult crossing. They had to break through the ice to get their boats into the river. They had to fend off large chunks of the floating ice once they were underway. But Washington had seafarers with him that night. What do you think a seafarer is? Luke? Somebody who goes out to sea. Okay, somebody who has more experience on the sea. Who knew how to navigate treacherous waters. The sailors of Massachusetts Marblehead Battalion maneuvered boat after boat across the icy river. As soon as they got one group of men to the New Jersey shore, they returned to pick up another. And guys, here is a good primary source just in this story. It's a quote. The force of the current, the sharpness of the frost, the ice which made during the operation rendered the passage of the river extremely difficult. And that's uh, James Wilkinson. He's a major in the Continental Army. So we're going to use Washington's Crossing the Delaware to explore and analyze some primary sources. I feel like the more information and the, the different modalities that I can use, certainly with this group of students that I have, I think it, it'll help them when it's time to sit down and remember just this mass amount of facts for Virginia Studies.